All right, it's Easter egg time. I forgot to show off a bunch of things when I got here before. Let's go into this door right when you enter the uh, plantation here, and you'll notice that it says passage? Question mark. You can't get to that door just yet. And this is the statue chamber. Hello there, guy. He has nothing to say to me, unfortunately, and I don't think he has anything else to say to me. These are the previous rulers of the island, if you didn't know that. Uh, I'll get, in, get more into that a little bit later. More Easter eggs! Well, I guess this isn't, isn't so much an Easter egg as it is just to show off the area a little more. What happens if you fall into the water at the plantation? Well, you got some uh, spiky spikes down there. That is the um, teleporter room key that the fishing girl gets a little bit later, but obviously you can't collect it because, you know, it's in the spikes. But evidently a fishing line is safe. If you drop down one of these pipes, you'll get transported through these pipes. Right out the opening here. Woo! <laughs> okay, in the jail over here... Holy cow, that's some uh, language there. <laughs> uh, what's the third one say right here? Yeah, you can talk to these before you even get the uh, Mimiga mask. So, uh, yeah, this is what what's in the jail. I didn't show this before. Uh, now you can see there's a bunch of Mimigas trapped in here, sadly. And, yeah, the, Mimi the Mimigas out there don't get what's going on with the doctor. And I kind of explained that before. And even showed that before. Another little Easter egg of this game is that if you manage to make it to this door by glitching your way up here, like you take a hit from an enemy, then you somehow manage to get past those first two presses down there. And if you try to open this door, what will happen is that you'll get a message that'll say something like, you're not ready to come here yet, or something like that. So the creator, Pixel, knew that it was absolutely possible to get to this door by glitching your way up here, so he actually locked you out of the door ahead of time, you know, just to make sure you couldn't go in there before you finished the rocket. This is what I mean about the guy paying a lot of attention to detail in this game. I love it! Okay, let's try this one last time here. I was talking to Skedaddle about this, and he said that uh, when he got this to work, uh, when like when he got the message work to work, like there's some special message that message that says something like, "You flew out into the air and were never seen again," or something like that. And then later on, he said that uh, maybe he didn't. Uh, see that message and he got the same message that I got when you die on the outer wall by flying off to the right side there. So I'm just gonna test this one last time. He said that uh, he, I may have to keep myself level with that platform over there, so I'm just gonna try and keep myself about this high away from the clouds just to keep myself going and... let's see... Failed! Well, maybe there's no such thing or no such special message as that after all. But the funny thing is, is that I heard some someone else say that on some other website. I forgot where. I heard it long ago. So maybe there was some sort of rumor going around about this kind of death. I don't know, but back to your regular scheduled programming. Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. This is it, guys. The final bosses of the game. Well, first you got Igor and Rabble just wandering around there as normal enemies. You can just ignore them if you want to. You don't have to defeat them at all to get anything. Uh, but if you have low weapon energy, what you're going to want to do is climb up here and grind for weapon energy as well as missiles if you need them. You'll see in this area there's a load of stuff that you can get. You can just use your Whimsical Star to pop those containers and get a lot of weapon energy. Uh, as, you, as, as shown there, a lot of missiles to collect there as well to refill. And if you just want to reset, you can just go back to the uh, house over there and go in, go out, come back up here, and all that stuff will be ready for you to collect. Anyway, there's a signpost up here. That's all, folks! Yeah, some sort of Looney Tunes reference. But anyway, if you go past the ceiling, I think it's actually referring to that because you can't go any higher than that. It just teleports you back over here. It doesn't kill you or anything. I don't understand that, but I always found that kind of silly. Igor, come down here. Stop bugging me. And, yeah, that's basically it. I already grinded for weapon energy as well as health. Well, I don't need to grind for health, excuse me. I got the bed to do that. You know, just to just recover at once. 
Uh, just get them all powered up before these fights. And here we go. So it's you. You really are a tenacious one, I'll grant you that. I suppose you're here to destroy the core. I used to consider you merely an out-of-control robot. But I see I misjudged you. Couple periods. Actually five. You should know that I carry no affection for this island. It is simply my fate that I must obey the one who wields the crown. Prepare yourself. And yeah, if you charge up your, uh... I was gonna say Polar Star, but that's a spur before the fight. You can unleash it to her right away. And you'll be able to give her a lot of damage. And she's got a lot of attacks, by the way, in case you didn't see from that box already. That block does quite a lot of damage as well. So does those Thunderbolt, Thunderbolts, or whatever. They look like Nemesis, actually. You know, Nemesis shots from my Nemesis gun. So, you definitely want to avoid taking hits from this because you've got a bunch of boss battles to face in a row. Yes, I said a bunch of boss battles. This is one of the hardest points in the game, actually, is to defeat all these boss battles. And I'm going to attempt to do it without, uh, oh, crappers, without using an energy tank, but well, not energy tank. Ah, Mega Man, no! <laughs> but I, I mean my life capsule or life, life pot thingy, whatever. And, oh, I almost got her there. You'll notice that those rings also block your shots. So, that's also another problem. And, come on, come on. I only need to do one more good hit. One more good hit. Dang it! I mean, already took a lot more damage than expected. I hope this isn't going to be problematic. That's okay. Hopefully, it'll go well. Whew. Magically blocks appear out of nowhere. I don't know how that works. Anyway, charge up your uh, spur for the next area and go up. Boink. The king's table. Choco, how have you? I mean, uh, uh, oh, uh, hi. <laughs> I, yeah, I guess you could say that. Um, uh, do you want your lipstick back? Uh, anyway, I, I accidentally let go of the button here, so let's charge up. Let's go. <laughs> Finally, it is complete. Administering red flowers to a Mimiga causes it to fly into a violent rage. The reason for this, in fact, is quite simple. The flowers contain not only a substance to draw out one's latent powers, but also one to crush one's very faculties of reason. It is this that I have successfully extracted and concentrated. You can see it in the form of this red crystal. And unlike the flowers, this crystal will affect humans as well. <laughs> it is wondrous. Do you understand the splendor of this? I doubt you do. Then allow me to explain it in a special lecture. Next boss battle, the doctor. He's got that red crystal and it protects him from your shot. So make sure that you shoot him when you can hit him without the crystal blocking your way. Don't worry about the crystal really hitting you all that much. It only does one damage. It's just a thing of, it's annoying that it blocks your shots and that red blast and this red blast is very hard to dodge. Don't let him do that if you can. And it also blocks other shots. And I got really lucky there. Ah, oh, poopers. Arr, go, 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 save yourselves. Ooh. Oh, looking pretty good actually for this fight, though I'm at 22 HP, oh god, I blocked all my shot, all my laser shot, I should say. Ah! The, the power, I can't control it. And now he's transformed into the power of the crystal, when he said it was concentrated, now you know what he means by that, it's so powerful even he can't control it. And now he's in a violent rage here. He's pretty easy to beat, actually, in it, with this pattern here. But you do have to worry about his bat attack. He, he shoots out a crap load of bats. Here they are! <laughs> and as you can see, it pretty much fills the screen. They keep bouncing around until you shoot him, so you'll almost guarantee to take a hit when he does the bats. Anyway, ah! Good, finally, he's dead. We have avenged all of our fallen comrades. <sighs> now what you want to do is go talk to uh, those Migas over there again. Not not those two first. Go talk to this one. Do you remember me from Grasstown? Lost my key. Santa! I still haven't gotten my Christmas gift. <sighs> well, 
Yeah, he definitely was. That's all he has to say about that. Yeah, let's talk to this cutie. That was something. Yeah, it was. You did it! I feel like a princess! Yeah, in a cage. Are they referring to Zelda or Mario or something like that? I don't know. Sue? Oh, I know her. That girl looks a lot like a Miniga, but she's really a human, isn't she? Yep. My eyes can't be fooled. Anyway, she's not here. Talk to her again. You're so strong, almost like the great hero Arthur. Tee hee! And yeah, it makes all the other Mimigas blush and give you hearts to recover your HP. Well, a little bit of your HP. Get them before they disappear, though. So, this should be all of them. There we go. That's a pretty decent HP for the uh, final, 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 final battle here. Here we go. Uh-oh. The Black's face. And this looks awfully familiar. That's far enough. Misery, she's back, unfortunately. And there's Sue. If you value her life, step away from the core. And he backs up. Huh. <laughs> so even a robot can care for the life of another. You really are different from the others who came here so many years ago. I never dreamed you would defeat the new king. Well, so be it. Let me offer you a deal. You can die together with the island, or you can leave and forget you ever came. If you promise to leave at once, I can guarantee this girl's life. Otherwise, you shall not escape. Who goes there? <laughs> Have you really forgotten the voice of your master? <sighs> the power of the red crystal is wondrous indeed. It fills me even now. My body may be wrecked, but as my cunt conscious has never been more distinct. It feels as if I have become a superman. You! What's wrong, Misery? Does my form frighten you? Gah. Are you not dead? Be gone! Tut tut tut! A fool would, who would forget her own master does not deserve free will. Misery, you will be my puppet until the day you die. Ugh. Um, let's get out of here. I'm with Sue here. Oh, God. Huh? Oh, crappers! <laughs> You're not leaving this place alive. Yes, this right here is a triple boss battle. You've got Transform Sue, Transform Misery. You've got the Undead Core, which is possessed by the Doctor. You've got a ton of trouble in this boss fight. You can that uh, misery over there. Well, the transform misery summons critters, bats, and fish missiles. You can shoot them for a load of health if you want to. Uh, that's a pretty handy thing to do, actually. Uh, so make sure that you put some pressure onto them to well, not put pressure onto them to make sure that you can kill off the uh, critters there and get your health recovered if you need to. So that makes this fight a little bit easier. But what you really want to do is kill Sue first and uh, just leave all oh, oh, Sue's already down, wow. <laughs> and just leave the uh, uh, transform misery there so you can get as much health as you need to and just pay attention to both sides at one time. Uh, don't really worry too much about the core. It doesn't really do all that much like it did in the labyrinth battle. But the fact that you may be exhausted from, you know, taking a lot of hits from previous battles at this battle might be quite difficult for you. I mean, this is like five boss fights in a row here. <laughs> Actually, six. You've got the uh, Transform Doctor, the Doctor himself, Misery, Transform Misery, um, Sue, and the Undead Core. So, yeah. And there goes Transform Misery. And it looks like I'm going to have my health back at max or one away from max. Oh, I took a hit from there. That's okay. Now, as before, the Transform Doctor here, he can only be damaged when he opens up like that. And look at that smile! That is the most ridiculous thing ever. It's supposed to look evil and all, but I simply can't take that seriously in the least. I mean, it just it just looks so silly! It's, he's just got so, like this huge grin on his face, and yeah, you get the idea. And anyway, you can stand on the uh, fish... not fish missiles, the... Uh, Core pieces that are in the foreground, not the ones in the background. And uh, eventually, once he gets down to like half health or a quarter health, two thirds health, he'll start doing his final attack. But it's not nearly as dangerous as it was before, as it only goes in a straight line, and it only does 10 damage to you. 
Oh, come on. Seriously, that little bit? You couldn't let me kill that little bit off of you? Well, that's it. It's over. The game is freaking over. Destroyed the undead core. <sighs> it's running. We've got enough fuel. We're ready to go at any time. <laughs> and I, I never dreamed I'd actually make it back to the surface. I wonder if they're all right. Oh boy! An earthquake? The core, it couldn't be. Yep, the core is dead. We've got to get off this island. Oh no. The island's starting to collapse. It won't be long before this place crumbles too. We gotta get out of here. By the way, I don't know why Sue isn't dead compared to other Mimigas that I've, you know, killed after being transformed. Maybe it's because it was by the power of the crystal and not the flowers itself. Anyway, it looks like the Mimigas are already freed over there. By the way, your health is recovered. Try and keep it at the max, by the way. Over here, run with all you've got or you're gonna get crushed. So try and keep it at the max. Look out for blocks from above. Don't just deal very carefully. Don't let yourself get trapped. I'll be back here later. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to take a hit, but that's okay. I'll, as I said, I'll be back here later anyway. Helicopter. Helicopter! Jesus! Go! Must escape. Island. Looking good. Wait. There's nowhere else to run. We have to jump for it. It's either that or sit here and let these rocks crush us. You ready? Jump as far as you can. Here we go. Woo! Island's falling. It's too dangerous. We've got to pull out. Yeah, as you've seen, the helicopter is no longer there when I got there. So, yeah, I don't think we escaped there. There goes the island. Nothing to stop the island from falling now. I'm still alive? But how? And where is Sue? Oh! <gasps> We've been rescued! Woo! Whew. I never thought you'd actually pull it off. Blowing up the core? Well, now the world ought to be free from any future incarnations of the Doctor. Peace has been preserved. Now, let's go home. But wait! You didn't think I'd actually show you the credits when the game's not over yet, did you? I mean, come on, that wasn't the best ending. There's one better ending. Go in here! The prefab house. You can't recover your health, but you can save your game in here. You can't leave the door. I mean, you can't leave throughout the door. However, there's something interesting here. Yeah, sure. And it takes you back over here for whatever reason. I think it's so that you can recover your health before coming back into that room, but basically once you save, you can't escape the sequence anyway. Or at least I don't think so. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, 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 you can if you just kill yourself, or at least I think. Anyway, I'm just going in here, and I'll see you in the next part when we see what's down beyond that hole.